reasonable new year, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of the Trash Talk Podcast of... <laughs> of <laughs> 2020 2020 man crazy year um we did a lot of work in <laughs> going into the uh, last couple of uh, weeks obviously with all the music recaps but it's a new year uh, and that's a completely arbitrary line that people somehow think is special and so we are pandering to that by presenting to you the new year's podcast 2020 we have sergey in the house how are you doing sergey i'm doing fine how that are you is... doing I'm reasonable. JJ, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. That's that's good. Like two and a half fines. Yeah, shut up, continue. <laughs> what do we got to talk about, man? Uh, well, first of all, I think we wanted to talk about the goals for the Trash Can TV network in the... Network. Well, in the new year. Mm-hmm. The uh, It's a network because we have several channels. Yes. Uh, yes, that's what we're going to do, like we do every year. We're going to l- give a little bit of an idea of what, what we are planning or intending to do in the, on this network. Sounds like we're TV people now. It, it sounds so professional. Um, yeah, it sounds like we year. have an MCN, which also we don't. No, we don't. But uh, yeah, that's what we wanted to talk about, and we brought uh, Sergey in because he's a part of it, right? Kind of. Kind of. And we brought him in, he he debuted on Tragic TV last year, 2019, um, in the, I think, 2000 sub-special. Yes. Yes. When we, when, that was, yeah, we, that that was not my debut. No, no, not, not your no de- it was Parkas 100. Yes. His face pa- debuted oh. in the 2000. Right, yes. that's what it was. Yeah, he, he had a face reveal there. He actually had one earlier in the, in the exclusive Discord, <laughs> which no one seemed to notice or care about at all. But then he... But brought, at least not care about, yeah. Nope. Yeah. We brought him into, uh, into the videos anyway. Now sometimes he's there, he's been on our podcast every once in a while, and he also plays uh, the occasional game on Trash Game TV too. And I think uh, Trash Can TV 2 is a part that, or one of the points that we really want to talk about today, uh, because that's what we're trying to expand on a little bit, uh, especially with Sergey, um, because you have a lot of games that you want to play, and a lot of games you want to play specifically on Trash Can TV 2 if it's not Hearthstone. So uh, what what are you kind of looking at there? What kind of games, or what, what can we expect from you like, mostly? Mostly, probably Beat Saber. Beat Saber. I've been playing quite a lot recently. And he's and also I've damn near professional. Quite good at it. He's really good at Beat Saber. So we played it yeah. once in the special in your face reveal. Yes. And uh, we <laughs> all were terrible at it, obviously, <laughs> back then. But since then, you've gotten pretty good at it. Yeah. So Beat Saber is an interesting game. Do you want to explain what it's about? Um, you destroy boxes with lightsabers. In virtual reality. In a specific way. The thing is, <laughs> what he what he always fails to mention is, it's a rhythm game. It's a rhythm game, yes. That seems like that seems like the first thing to start. You play a song, <laughs> you play a musical number, a song, and then blocks show up in rhythm, and then you smash it with your lightsaber. The, thing is, the first time he, he explained it to us, he explained it pretty much the exact same way he just explained yeah. it. In and I was VR. like, wait, what? And then like, oh wait, it's a rhythm game. Yes. And he's like, yeah. In, like, in VR. You, you just led with that. <laughs> That's an important part uh, of the game, Sergey. <clears throat> Um, yes, that's interesting. Uh, not a game for me to play necessarily, mm. but definitely interesting for to watch Sergey do because it's exhausting. And uh, but he likes it, and uh, the music comes with it, so it's fun. Um, Trash TV Two is going to be the host of that one. It's not going to be on this channel, but um, TTV Two. You can find the link to that on our channel page and in the description, so you can subscribe to that. It's not the only game we're going to be playing on Trash TV Two. Mm. Uh, we're going to be continuing our series involving Sergey of Firewatch, where not Sergey is playing, but we are. And uh, sometimes Sergey is playing. Sometimes, yeah, actually, yeah, Sergey is playing. But <laughs> yeah, that's actually I forget he is playing now because it's just a bit more fa- a bit faster, a bit better paced uh, than if we were. But uh, you guys also are playing, for example, Anti Chamber together, yes. which I'm not a part mm-hmm. of. But go ahead. I tried to watch like the first ten minutes of the first episode. It's not a game for me. Uh, not to play or watch, honestly. Neither is Portal. But oh. that sort of stuff you want to play on TTV too. Uh, not going to be Alex Entertainment, but it's going to be Sergey Entertainment, which is, yeah, that's why it's CTV2. <laughs> uh, that's, you can find all that stuff there. So it's going to be the variety, basically. We're going to continue generally with the current model of Trash Can TV is Hearthstone. There's a Hearthstone channel. It's always been a hard... No. <laughs> that's just that's, that's, that's just not That's just false information. <laughs> this is a Hearthstone channel. Has been for a while and will be in the future. <laughs> Basically, daily Hearthstone videos. Sometimes there's a podcast. Sometimes there might be a report or something, but it's Hearthstone videos. This this channel is Hearthstone-focused. All the other games that we're going to be playing on the side 
are going to happen on Trash Can TV too. I don't know. How do we want to do it actually with Life is Strange? Have you thought about that? Um, the question mostly is do we want to finish the existing game? Which, by the way, a uh, new episode has been out for a while now. Oh. Uh, I, that, that kind of hit right into like our like mm. yeah. pre-holiday bulk recording session thing. We'll play it, we'll play it uh, anyway. Eventually. In a while, yeah. Um, I, the final episode is actually that's uh, out. Mm. So the question is just, do we still drop that on Trash Can TV because we've dropped the rest yeah. there? I'd say we do. I think so, yes. Which is so we a little there. random, but yeah. And if we ever replay it with Sergei, that'll be on TTV too. Yeah. Like we have with the other ones. And also, just if mm. a new game comes out, yeah. we just because we started a series on this channel doesn't mean we're finishing it here, but if we start a game on this channel, we will finish it. Which is, I believe, the only outstanding one. So, so whenever we do stuff, like <clears throat> games that you've seen before on this channel as a side, like things like GeoGuessr or something, those are going to be on Trash Can TV too if we bring them back. Um, we've done them on hard on 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 uh, on um, podcast before podcasts before, but that's not gonna be. Maybe it is like if we do it as a halftime show, maybe, but um, we're not gonna do it as standalone videos on Trash Can TV One. So those types of things will be on TTV Two exclusively, which is why I recommend you uh, subscribing to that. Uh, Sergey, anything else that may or may not be planned for TTV Two? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna talk about the thing that we talked about before the video. Is that a trick question. I don't oh. know. Um, should we? I don't know. Should we? They want to play a small children's game. <laughs> small is definitely wrong. I would between argue that the children's game 12. part is also... Between <laughs> eight oh, eight. small... Oh, I thought you said it was a small game for children. I, I no, 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 no. no, no. It's a game for small children. It's a game for small children. Yes. For small children. I, I mean, I still disagree, but fair. <laughs> okay, you disagree? I totally agree. It's a game for big children. It's it's Minecraft. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Minecraft. They want to play Minecraft... <laughs> and a lot of small children like mm. Minecraft and play Minecraft. It, it <clears throat> might depend a little bit on how the copper situation turns out, whether... Yeah. Well, I guess by the time this video drops, we might already have a bit of an inclination uh, of how that turned out. Um, whether or not that happens, or I guess it could happen either way, but, you know. We'll they see. have a lot of stuff planned around a small children's game with uh, their own construction and stuff. I'm not going to be a part of that, So I'm an adult, and I try to behave like one <laughs> most of the time. Most of the time, not always. Not always. I try. For once, you're not the youngest person in one of our videos. That okay, is relax. Correct. That is correct. Um, and uh, Minecraft is definitely not adult enough. That is a small children's game, and I'm not going to subject myself to it. But I'm not going to judge anyone who wants to watch these two people, these two grown adults, play a children's game. You can go ahead and do that. And you're probably 12 years old if you do, but I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> I'm really not. Uh, also, I, I, you should use YouTube Kids. Uh, I was about to say, uh, please, uh, 13, please be 13 or older. <laughs> can, yes. can you please try that? <laughs> try be 13 or older or use YouTube Kids. Thank you very much. Um, generally, our videos are not intended for uh, for under 13-year-old audiences because we don't want to get destroyed by Kappa. That's that's why. Also, just general. Our, yeah. our videos are aimed at general yeah, audiences. Yeah, yeah. Mature audiences, blah, blah, blah. Viewer discretion is mandatory, blah, 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 whatever. Um, that's for TTV2. If that actually comes to fruition with the whole Minecraft thing, I have no idea. But I'm also not going to be pushing it at all. So it's going to be on these guys. Yeah, there's still technical stuff to figure out. It's it's a work in progress. Yeah. But uh, there's going to be probably other games, too, that we come up with that we just randomly decide to play. Likely. Going to be on TTV2. Yes. Whatever we feel like just throwing in, we'll throw in. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be like random Tuesday, but it's every day, kind of. Speaking of specific weekdays, hmm. I'm just gonna ask you this on the air: huh. Are we gonna do the Throwback Thursday thing we talked about? Which I believe we already talked about on, on the on what TTV two, TTV. Did we talk about Throwback Thursday on TTV? Old Hearthstone adventures and stuff like that. Oh, the single player content, basically. We could. We, I believe, yeah. I, I'm not sure if it was, I want to say it was a Hearthstone report where we randomly decided to we make might, it. We might, we might, have, yeah. we might have, yeah. We never actually ended up doing do it. And it might not happen until after the Trash Bowl if we do it, because mm -hmm. that's going to take a lot of time anyway. The Descent of Dragons, by the way. And that's another one you hinted at, which is the tournaments. We're going to continue the community tournaments, starting already with the Descent of Dragons once. And the planning is that it's going to be one for every expansion, so three this year, and hopefully uh, throughout that also. Yes, so, um, and there's still time to register. Uh, I can't guarantee that there's still space because we are, are pre-recording this a little bit, but if not, you can at the very least enter the reserve, and uh, yes. that is also relevant. Yes. Register. More info about that in a video that hopefully... We have part. a report on our on our channel page uh, where we announce it and tell you how it works. You go watch that, and you know everything, how to register for this tournament, and uh, you can play, play along in that and the future ones. 
And uh, it's completely free, of course, and everyone is welcome to do so. Hopefully that's going to happen for every expansion. We're trying to organize that if time um, and uh, financial means are there for us to do so. But uh, I'm relatively optimistic that that's going to be the case. And that will be pretty cool once that happens. So yeah, that's going to be a theme in, uh, in uh, Trashcan TV. So another thing, I guess, will be budget series. We're still trying to make budget videos. Every single expansion, when um, new expansion comes out, there's always a lot of new beginner players. A lot of people are looking forward to those. So we're going to be constructing some budget decks every time um, that are very good for the value and in Hearthstone. And you can play uh, to ladder or, or for competitive sake, maybe even in the tournament. Yeah, so our general goal with that series is usually to try to hit one deck for every class. Uh, the Sometimes. last couple of expansions we've struggled a little bit due to the meta shakeups that already now, based on yeah. previous uh, behavior, are like a little over yeah. a month away. Wait, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that makes it a little harder for us, but we try to hopefully create one deck for every class. If there is one for every class, it's because either that, it's too unstable, or there just isn't a good one. Um, a good budget one. We've had situations where there just isn't one, and we're not going to serve you a, a bad budget deck just to, to fill up the whole series. So, um, if there's a good one for a class, we'll do it, for sure. Uh, if not, then there just, just isn't one. But that seems to be seen, that remains to be seen for, um, for every expansion, of course. We've got the new rotation, which we're going to cover with uh, all the card reviews. We're going to do that for every expansion, of course. Um, the general Hearthstone stuff, not much about that is going to change uh, in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it, the biggest changes usually happen when Blizzard decides, but decides that they are going to yes. happen. Like with the release of Battlegrounds. Correct. Which, by the way, Fun huge surprise, more. right? Yes. Like They announced that like two days later it was out in, in like early it's access, a week later yeah. it was public. That's cool. We're going to continue playing that, of course, because it's uh, it's fun and a uh, really cool, really cool mode. So that's that's going to be yes. a, a part of a part of the channel, too. And uh, as for that, uh, for the rest of it, it's it's going to be depending on a little bit of, of feedback, too. Um, we want to do this whole thing, incorporating opinions from the viewers and stuff. So we want to hear what you think about the gameplays that we do, um, what, what extra things you want to see. And if you have any games to suggest. Because we have TTV too, a lot of open spaces for random games you want to see us play. Go ahead, suggest them. We can we can do that. So um, if there's something we feel like playing that you want to see, let us know. Put us in the co put it in the comments. Let us know in the Discord server, which by the way you can join. That's community Discord server. Link in the description of this video. Um, free and open for everybody to just hang out and talk to us and the community. And let us know what you want to see, and uh, we'll make that happen. But the main focus or the focus of this TTV one. It's going to be Hearthstone, and it's going to remain like that. We're hoping to build the community up, and um, we made our predictions, sort of, so, sub and view predictions, um, a couple weeks ago before we went into the song podcast in, I in 2019. I believe it was a month, like four weeks ago. Yeah, we had we had the, the we Hollywood, we had Hollywood Smoke. Yeah, ones. and then the two song ones. The two song ones, so it was, it was a month ago, yeah. Uh, that That's true. So uh, that's where we made our predictions, but do you want to talk a little bit about our goals? I mean... Sergey, what's your goal for Trashcan TV and specifically Trashcan TV 2 for 2020? We didn't actually talk about Trashcan mm. TV 2 in the predictions at all. Correct. Because it's also pretty hard with the starting channel. Good way to do it. Do you want to like, do a bit of uh, number stuff? Like total views and subs or something? I don't think I am able to estimate it even somewhat reasonably. All right. Yeah, no, no one tough. is. No. Yeah. Um... <laughs> there is a variety of issues so, with that, of course, yeah. because... So probably just um, at least one Beat Saber video a week. Alright. That makes so, sense. Yeah. Uh, how about 100 subs on TTV2? The problem is it's really hard to predict because of the variety of the channel and because series kind of just start and end whenever we feel like it. Well, this is more of a, uh, a goal than a prediction, necessarily. Yeah, no, but it, it's... Very hard to actively strive for something if the channel doesn't have yeah. any specific direction, because at the end of the day, TTV Two for us is just an outlet for all the stuff we yeah. can't really do on the that, main that's channel. That's true. So the goal is, I guess, to play all the games that we don't play on TTV One that we just feel like playing. Get some Beat Saber done. Yes, yeah. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. um, as for Optimally Trashcan, be entertaining too. Yeah, that would be preferable. As for Trashcan TV One, though, the main, the big one. JJ, hit me with the goal: views and the sub goal. I mean. I guess the theoretical goal would be to surpass whatever I predicted a month yeah, ago. Fair enough. Um, because those predictions tend to be realistic with a 
in theory with a faint hint of optimism, but yeah. with a slight uh, usually due to how stuff grows exponentially, yeah. oftentimes still undershoots a little bit. So of course, overshooting those would be not necessarily huge enough itself, but just a Good. very reasonable and. Arguably achievable goal. So I guess the standard sort of, not necessarily a goal, but a standard is to just continue the thing, daily videos, yes. throughout the entire year, and be consistent in doing that. I mean, we have, this year, since we officially, officially, started um, doing daily uploads, we've only missed like one or two. Mm-hmm. We've so that's the... been pretty consistent. Correct. And I don't see why that would change. I can by no means guarantee that we'll have a video literally every single day of the year but I could argue that reasonably with with an exception of less than 10 I don't see why that wouldn't happen and even less so of course like on time because someone's just like oh there's a report that needs to be out today and we can record like only half an hour before yeah. we wanted to release it and stuff but um, for the most part I don't see a categorical issue with daily uploads now. how about this goal uh a goal to generally give Sergey more screen time to show that Trash Can TV cares about minorities. I mean, <laughs> that in, in a big part depends on him, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. you you you're having some doors open here, man. You 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 get more screen time to show how we care about minorities, like you. <laughs> how about it? <laughs> I mean, sure, but yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, well, on Trashcan TV and <laughs> including Trashcan TV 2, obviously. Yeah. Mostly Trashcan TV 2, probably. Yes, mostly. Yeah. That's true. But we'll bring you on for podcasts every once in a while like we're doing right now. Yeah. We also did say that you wanted to start playing Hearthstone like a uh, half a year ago or something. So, you know. He, he sort of never really got into that game. Not really. Like, yeah. But that's fine. But, so. It seems like the reason why I never got into it was because he never played it. Well, he played it here. I've, I've saw, like he I've played seen it him once in a while. I've seen him twice or something play like a game on his phone on the way, but he never dedicatedly. But I mean, that's fine. We're not going to force him to, to do it. That's that's just how it is. But you can play your games on TTP too. You want to play Beat Saber and stuff. I that's would totally like cool. to note that Sergey playing Hearthstone statistically is very good for our channel. Yes, people really like that, but if he doesn't want to play Hearthstone, he doesn't want to play Hearthstone. He's still a member of. That's a very misleading statistic yeah. because he's only done it once. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that video didn't succeed specifically because of that. No. I mean, it did succeed because of the premise, which we needed someone like him for. Not necessarily him, himself. Exactly. Mm. You're replaceable. Yes. Yeah. Another thing that, that is a goal that we're going to start um, putting into reality, like right now, is uh, the new format of the podcast. Which isn't going to change much, but we had a suggestion last year. And we said we're going to start doing it this year for the first time. This is the first one we do it. The fact of the week is now before the halftime show, which makes a lot of sense because the halftime show is now the halftime show. You know why that wasn't always kind of the case? Why? Because the halftime show originally was just like the small segment in between the two main topics because we wanted to have that one debate. And that's how kind of how the podcast format happened. Yeah. And then... I believe it wasn't even originally called the halftime show. I believe I just kind of made that up at some point. I think, I think we did call it. I believe that. I just started calling it that at some point. I think um, we called it from the beginning, but yeah, um, yeah, I think so. But it definitely it, the how the podcast structure kind of almost completely happened by chance. A lot of it did, yeah. And it just but, happened to work for us. <laughs> but now we're structuring it in a way that it makes more sense. So we have the fact coming up next, which is like right now after I'm fin- I finished talking. Then we do a halftime show. Yeah. Then the second topic, and then the song of the week. And hopefully, yeah, I mean, yes, we will. Can you do that for a while if there's no a huge problem with it, which is not apparent or <laughs> sensible at all? Why would there be? Unforeseeable issues, I don't know. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> space, time, I don't know, uh, problems. If that doesn't occur, then uh, the format's going to stay that way, and it makes more sense. Honestly, it's... Preferable in that with us doing a lot of like the quizzes and stuff in the halftime mm-hmm. show, quizzes, crosswords, that sort of stuff. In theory, there is a mild chance that the fact of the week is just sort of spoiled by that. Like it just happens to come up in the as part of the questioning. Yeah. It's, it's very unlikely. Does that happen? <laughs> because usually they ask things that are generally known, yeah. and we try to get things that are not generally known out there. Yeah. But what Kansas doesn't... City Chiefs defensive lineman ran for a touchdown, threw a touchdown, and caught a touchdown reception? Not really. Yeah, sort of thing. it doesn't was, happen. It was really unfortunate that that was a lateral because yeah. that makes making a stat out of it really hard. Yeah, that's true. But so Terry Poe. 
Yeah. <laughs> Sergey has no idea what, what's up. Let's get into the fact of the week, man. Not a halftime show. No, no, no. The fact of the week. And um, as with, uh, you know, us being good hosts and everything, Sergey, you may start with your fact Ooh. of this week. I wonder what you came up with. <laughs> See what you have. What do you, what do you, what do you got, bro? Can you cite a source? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can. Yeah, you can. He's, I, I've, I've been informed that he has done in, uh, uh, yes. extensive <laughs> research uh, regarding the... Yeah. Extensive Extensive. Research, what yes. is your fact of this week? So, um, in 1994, huh. Bill Gates huh. um, <laughs> bought the... <laughs> Could you talk about that? <laughs> yeah, no, continue. Um, bought the Da Vinci Codex. The original Da Vinci Codex? Yay. What'd he do with it? Um, <laughs> so he bought it for uh, 30.8 million US dollars Not at dope. that time. I was about to say, um, is, is that is it? Yes. Not, <clears throat> Not adjusted. Which code. is equivalent to 53.2 million US dollars right now. So that's quite less, a lot of money. That's more than the total net worth of Trashcan <laughs> TV Inc. Yes. Trash Kitty is unincorporated. <clears throat> apparently, he may, uh, he s- let it scan, uh, he scanned it all uh-huh. and made it a desktop, s- desktop background wow. wallpaper. That is so interesting. What inspired you to pick this specific <laughs> fact of the week? Can you cite sources? What What's so, the history? Tell the people. <laughs> I've been browsing Wikipedia a lot ah, yes. lately. <laughs> <laughs> um... No, actually, Alex lent me the fact because... You didn't have one! Because <laughs> the fact that, <laughs> that was I my brought fact. me today turned out to be not factual. Here's the thing, right? You could have just said, a friend told you. That's all yes. you needed to say. But that would have <laughs> not been technically a lie or something, I don't know. That would have, that's the thing, right? It would have been true... Okay. But it also will not have revealed the truth. Yeah, that the is actual... No, it, is, it was absolutely my fact. It was a list of, a fact <laughs> list that I had. And Sergey asked me, can I borrow a fact? Which is not really borrowed because it's not, <laughs> I, I'm not going to reuse it. Um, so I gave him my least interesting fact. And uh, he did some research on it, though. He added the, uh, the exact sum and uh, the adjusted sum and the uh, year that he did it. But yes, Bill Gates bought the original Da Vinci Codex, had it scanned, and uh, made it the wallpaper. That is, that is a fact. JJ, what is your fact of this week? Well, um, my fact of the week is less an individual specific fact, and more of just an accumulated dump of data. Um, Boy, it's something that I kind of promised last week and then not delivered on. What is? Uh, it? Which you know is unfortunate. Um, uh. We talked about the songs that we added to our collection since 2019, and I said that I had statistical data on the ones that I have added. Personally, um, that I thought we should have a look at, at the very least, uh, whether there's something interesting to be drawn from that or not is secondary right now. And I just wanted to go over that really quickly. So... Let's get it. However you want to actually... So uh, let's start with the country break that I always find that one yeah. fascinating. Um, so I had 170 songs. 48 of which were from the US, which is the most common one. It's the United States. Followed by 39 from England. Specifically England or the Kingdom? Specifically England. Yuck. Uh, three, uh, wait, number three is uh, 27 from Denmark. That's all Volbeat. That's literally all Volbeat. Uh, and then we have number four is a tie between Germany and Sweden for 16 each. One of the bands are Sabaton and Hammerfall, and what's the German ones? Uh, Mostly Fiddler Screen. Okay. Um, and then number six is Canada with 15, which is almost all the Dead South. Right. There is, I believe, two others in there. There's, uh, Neil Young is in there uh, with one song, and I believe there's something else. I'm not... Yeah. Inter- I could look it up. I see a random four on Finland. Uh, there's four from Finland, yes. What's that band? Um... I believe there might actually be multiple there. Really? You asked. Now I have to look it up. <laughs> you don't absolutely have to. But no, I do. Say, not really. Uh, you could have added that in post to it if you wanted to. But yeah, four from Finland. And the rest was like one a pop. So those are the, the important ones there. Yes. Do you um, also want to sort by other stuff or just by, by country? 
Where blah blah blah. Um year Ed See he has to type it all out. Well That's... I um yeah, it's, it's tight. <laughs> if I type count instead of country, that's not going to work. It's the longest fact for the uh, week ever. And it's, it's that, not, it's, I'm not even sure if that's true. One, once you're done, it is. Uh, So there's three from Nightwish and there's Nightwish. one from uh, The Rasmus. Which, which I don't um, know. But Nightwish... You you know the song, you don't like it. It's not. Do I know it? Do. I don't think I do. Uh, In the Shadows. No clue. But I'm pretty sure we talked about uh, you not liking it. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I, I thought the most interesting one was actually the tie between Germany and Sweden, which yeah. was very random. By the end of the day, it's just uh, Germany's mostly fiddlers green, and um, Denmark is all Wolbeat. Uh, yeah, Denmark is all Wolbeat. Uh, we have Power Wolf, Scorpions, Von Kanto, fiddlers green, and, and once again Power Wolf for the Germany one, and uh, I believe Sweden also had multiple ones. Sabaton a bunch. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's one R, but it's two hand from the rest of Sabaton, so yeah. nothing very surprising. Not, nothing, there. nothing huge. Uh, other breakdown that I made would. That. Um, what do you get? Is this very which, interactive stuff right now? Which is um, the breakdown by decade, uh, which has seventy four songs from the twenty tens. That's all the new albums. Bro. That is in large part yeah. stuff from twenty nineteen, of course. Uh, is thirty one songs from the eighties, mm-hmm. twenty seven from the seventies. Arguably the two best decades. Seventeen from the two thousands. 11 from the 90s huh. and 10 from the 60s. 17 from the 2000s is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want, I can look the individual no, songs cool. up, but that's probably it's not cool. very helpful right now. So I just thought, is that, right da- is that data telling in any way? Not really that much, but I still thought it was what it tells you, What it tells at. you is that it was a bunch of new albums released in 2019. Yes, there's actually... By predominantly Sabaton and Volby. There's actually a reasonable amount of uh, songs that are from the tens that are not from 2000, but most of them are from... Uh, 19. Uh, 19, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm typing and talking some of these. Yeah. Stuff. 2019 had 26 songs. 26, that's not bad. 20, 2016 had 16 songs. 16 songs, that is interesting. I mean, to be fair, I, there's probably like a Volbeat album in there or something. It's, yeah, it might, it might be. It might be sealed, it's sealed the deal. deal could be in there, yeah. It might be. It's very reasonable. That, 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 is, that seems like it's something that will be. So that's your fact? Uh, yes, that's my fact. And uh, it is. yes, it's, it's yeah. still a deal. And there was a Dead South one too. Yeah. So, okay, fair enough. Illusion and Doubt. Yeah. So, oh, that was a good one too. The cover is phenomenal. I made it into a wallpaper. It's great. Um, That's your fact? That's my fact. Let me look at my fact. So uh, I have a couple of them uh, and I can maybe sort of let you pick which ones y'all want to hear uh, or which one y'all want to hear. So, uh, or maybe you know what I'm not gonna actually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this one um, because I, I feel like it. So you know people have different blood types. Yes. Right. Do you know what the rarest blood type is? The most rare blood um, type. I would assume. Oh god! Now it's it's probably one of, it's one of the extreme ones. So the question is: Is it O or AB? And then probably still also the plus uh, the the positive negative. You probably also want to know. Um, I want to say. Probably AB positive or something like that. So the most, the rarest blood type is called RH null, and only 43 people in the world have it. Okay, so that's some kind of anomaly, yes, right? 43 people in the world have it. Uh, it's the most compatible with everything, so it can be donated to absolutely everybody, which is why it's called, no, it's not why it's called, but it's also called as the golden blood, because it it is worth its equivalent of gold in grams. If you have that blood type... You can, like, you can just be rich, like filthy rich, by just taking a bit of your blood and selling it every once in a while. So, I assume, based on the rarity, that it's different from Oneg, so the question would be, how does it happen? I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know how it happens. I'm assuming it's, like, some mutation stuff? I don't know. Because, generally speaking, as far as I'm aware, there is pretty much, there's the, there's A and B, and then you can either have one, both, or neither. And that's how the blood types work. So, essentially what I'm saying is, is if you have never done it, let someone check your blood type. Go to the doctor, have your blood type checked, because it just might be 
then you got millions of bucks flowing through your veins. I want to argue that the chances of that being the case are lower than winning the lottery. I'm not sure. Tesla will be small, way lower than winning the lottery, but it is possible. I don't remember the exact odds for the lottery is the problem. Yes, there's currently 43 people in the world known to have this blood type. It is the Which, gold Which, you know, four, 43 over, what, 7.4 billion? Something. Is, uh... You don't know how many have actually been checked. There might be more, of course. Yes. But, yes, it's, it's very, very slim chances. But, hey, why not check it? You might be worth a, a, a lot of money. Don't let anyone know. If you have it, don't let anyone know. Just go That's down actually a good call. Someone, Especially if you live somewhere sketchy. Someone will yes. cut you. If they if they know that like you got five liters of blood in your body and it's worth like what? Five oh, like five kilograms of gold? Someone will cut you. Don't tell anyone. Just go donate blood or something. I would argue that blood has a higher density than one. Yes, definitely. So I was just, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, more. I'm, just, yeah. I'm just... It's, it's a lot of damn money, so... Like, once a month, go donate a little blood and live off it. Oh, yeah. That's, that's um, it. Generally, not very exciting fun fact, but for those who are not very familiar with the metric system, a liter of water weighs pretty much exactly a kilogram. Correct. Which is a very easy mass to volume yeah. uh, transference, and then you can basically, other liquids, you can kind of assume it to be around there. Liter is like 0.3 gallons, something, something, something. So, uh... Everything is easier in metric. No, yes. No. No, no, yes. no, 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 Not every, that's a blanket statement that I can't subscribe to. But in this field, scientific field, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, go now, go check your blood type, and uh, if you have that specific blood type, money. So, that's the facts of the week. That's all of our facts of the week. JJ, what is the first true ever halftime show? What are we doing? <laughs> um, you suggested that we play Would You Rather. You also suggested we don't prepare questions, so this will be exciting. We'll be ad-lipping. Oh, so do we... The first question that I have is, do we ask only one person or both? I, I guess both, right? Like, set it as, out as I a mean, debate. might as well, right? As a debate or something? Unless, unless, there's some, unless you come, come up with something that is very specific to a single person. If right. both can reasonably answer it, I don't see why they wouldn't. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a fair point. Um, and you, I already know that Sergey is going to have a really hard time coming up with prompts and yes. <laughs> I expect my time of that to not be much better so I hope you you got I have, I've already thought of one it's not strictly a would you rather but it's sort of um, I love how he suggests it's, something it's, and then I mean, instantly it is, breaks I could, the format I could word it like a would you rather question but for better understanding I'm going to word it uh, as a trade off so like would you do this if you could get this for it? right that cool uh, I, I see yes it's, so, it's a million dollar spot got it basically but let's let's put the money at uh, let's put it at um, <laughs> there's literally money involved because of you of course <laughs> <That's>, just to <laughs> make it somewhat balanced I think make the decision that he, let's put it at 50,000 bucks okay for 50,000 bucks would you accept to have a dog turd in your room perpetually there has to be a, just a single dog turd in your room it needs to be an open space. You can't vacuum seal it and then put it in a drawer. It needs to be somewhere out in the open in your room and it needs to be a fresh one every like two weeks or so. It needs to be replaced. It, it, you can place it anywhere in your room. The it has to be obviously no. It has to be yeah. <laughs> it has to be somewhere in the open though. You can put it in the corner over there. Um you might I might let you put it in like a drawer or something or like under some kind of uh, under your bed or something. But it has to be out in the open, it has to be replaced every two weeks, and it has to be that way perpetually for the rest of your life. Definitely no. I mean, that, no. that's a very easy choice. 100,000 bucks. The thing is, unless <laughs> unless unless the requirement is specifically this room that we're currently in, and I can just like, whatever leave room, it and never what, come back. Whatever room that you prepare, that you plan to sleep that That's night. what I expected, yeah. See, because if it was one specific if you're room, going to then a hotel, moving would solve that. If but, you're going to a hotel, you're bringing it with you. You're packing it up, bringing can it Can you not locally source it? <laughs> you can. I mean, you can. Just whatever room you're sleeping at night has no, to No, definitely have. not. I mean, that's dumb. No. 100,000. No. 200, <laughs> 250K. Name the sum. Okay, name the sum, guys. <laughs> What's the sum? You think it's that bad? Like, like passing off big money bad? Well, I mean, the thing is... <sighs> you could just staple your nose or something. That's legit. You could just learn to live with it, honestly. I, I, I think it's a really bad idea for a variety of reasons. Okay. <laughs> um, the smell and the, hyg- <laughs> the, the hygienic applications, um, thereby also health implications, are definitely uh, 
one of the bigger ones for you sure. You could have the window open constantly. There's you could all- put it on the window seal. Put your um, put your bed on the other on the other side of it. Set up a fan out out the window and have it open the whole time. Uh, the other thing would just be uh, the social implications. <laughs> uh... Man, you know what? I think there's ways to work with this. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> honestly like a hundred thousand bucks. I think I might be able to make this work somehow. It's a lot of money, man, dude. Okay, uh, listen. <laughs> Make the Kickstarter campaign happen, people! <laughs> what, Make it yeah. happen! What, we're Make funding, it happen. We're, we're crowdfunding this! <laughs> we're funding 100,000 bucks so that I can... That yes! Can, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if, if, you, if you do... If you get 100,000 bucks together, I'll, I'll try it. I will. <laughs> totally would. Um, man, I mean, there's ways to work with this. Like, it's about... This, this game is about, like, negotiating. It's about. It's not about saying like absolutely never. It's about finding a middle ground. Like, what would it take, sort of thing. Like, that's a lot of money. In you're theory, this game is what you rather, which is not at all about that. Okay, but we turn it into that. And this yeah, is the a, one you turn it into is kind yeah, of about that. So, we're, because we're ad libbing, that's fine. Like, that's a lot of money on the line, and I've already outlined like ideas on how to make it acceptable. Put it on the window seal, fan blowing out. You got the window open. Maybe you got like a room separator like you pull up a partial wall or something so it's still it's still a room just take the door out or something and put your bed on the opposite we're getting to a point where we're just sealing in the wall again but you could put it you could put it you could put it on top of your highest shelf no one has to see it social aspects out the room put a fan like just blow it somewhere there's ways to work with it I'm telling you man there is it's a, it's a, come on, it's a trade-off game. What would it take? Let, let, let's hear some ideas. <laughs> huh? Sergey, you're equally same <laughs> as me, right? Yes. yes. Cool. Why, why are you being so absolute about this? Like, try to think. Only of... Sith deal in absolutes. <laughs> yeah, why are you doing that? Why, like, think about if someone actually offered you a hundred thousand bucks for it. Don't you think there's some way to make it work? Nah. <laughs> um, Do you know how much money you're passing out? Actually, it's not even that much. Much. Yes. Okay, how much money would you take to consider it? What if I said, if you said okay, five hundred thousand bucks, half a million bucks? I like. I like how it sounded like he was changing his answer, but he was just saying the same thing yeah. in different words <laughs> to make it sound more. Yeah. What do you? What do? You, what do? You, what did you say? A million. A full million. Like, you're not going to tell me that you're getting an infinite amount of ex- disposable money. Like, if you did, because then you could just build an infinitely long room where it wouldn't affect you anymore. But wouldn't take building an infinitely long room take an infinite amount of time? A close to infinite amount. A long <laughs> Approaching I, infinity. A I very long room. I, I was hoping you were going to suggest super tests, but okay, fair enough. Yeah. Let's say, like, uh, uh, 100... You just keep building yeah. it faster and faster. <laughs> so it's done in a finite time. Yeah. Let's just say, like, you just build, like, a mile-long room. Very simple room. That's just your bedroom, nothing else. The floor of the room would be curved. That's true. That That is correct. <laughs> or whatever room length it takes for you to not be bothered by it. Which you could do with the money that you would get. I feel like we're just stretching this app absurdum yes. for no reason. I don't know why you, why, do you, why you don't want to negotiate on that. I don't like your business sense. You're just play, playing stuff off without trying to compromise you on a lot of money. Like, realistically. Like, would, okay, it's all hypothetical, but <laughs> if, that, if someone proposed this to you realistically, and it's tough to answer that, but would you really just say absolutely no? Yes. A half a million bucks to live with a dog turd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's, it just sounds weird when you say it like <laughs> you you guys are not dedicated to the craft at all, man. <laughs> For half a million bucks, you 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 find a lot of ways to make stuff work. You can you can translate it into other stuff, by the way. Like, uh, think about your income, like your regular income. Translate half a million bucks into how many years and hours days you have to work in your job. Then think about how much you actually like doing that, and how much how much you would pro- rather not do that. Would you rather not work for 20 years but still get paid full just to have a turd in your room? Is it really worse to have a turd in your room than go to work every day for 8 hours for 20 years? Get up early, 6 in the morning, take the bus. Is it re- is that really worse? Yes. Honestly. Yes. Yes, it is. I would... 
strongly disagree. <laughs> I would very, very strongly disagree. Also, the suggestion that whatever our current income is, which mm, um would in, would definitively scale not at all, basically over time is ludicrous. for do it for any given job that were at some point that you're at some point have, like any job you're ever in. Fun fact: programmers are paid up to six digits a year. Well, yes. So a lot of people are paid up to six digits a year. Still, will not work for five years for a turd in the corner. Like, what? Really? Like, really? You would not make that, be able to make that work? Yes. Wow. I'm, I pro- also, I pro- also consider five years and the rest of your life. But it's a so- very mild inconvenience. It's not a very mild yes, it's an extremely mild. You put it <laughs> under somewhere where no one can see it. If if you absolutely have to, you either put a fan or you just put something on your nose while sleeping. And then you just live your life in a different room. It's a very mild inconvenience. It's so... It's, it's so minuscule, man. And also, on top of the actual inconvenience, we'll just... The peace of mind thing. Why? Really? Yeah. You y'all could not make this work. Like that's that's so weird. It it seems like it seems like so disproportional, right, to the the potential reward. I have a feeling that this half the shows about dog shit. <laughs> hey, if you have another one, let's hear it. But I I, I I I just can't wrap my mind around the fact that you guys are so strictly with this. Okay, ten million bucks. Or let's just say, however much money you need for the rest of your life. Whatever you, you want is paid for. Just snap. Infinitely cover credit card, not by your account. Just, you know, carte blanche. Whatever you want, you got it. Just you have to do this In one thing. In theory, that's when we start considering the one yes. room. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> I mean, you try but to the absurdity of the one mile room must be obvious. You guys are programmers. Like you try to find a way to work around stuff to to somehow make it work, right? <laughs> Technically, that's not, that's not the job description. It's just practically how that's, that's, that's what you do. So why are you not trying to do it at all here? Why not? Like, okay, can I maybe put it in a shoe or something? This crazy exploit you just thought of is is actually considered tax. Yeah. Fraud, is actually considered insurance fraud, and here is why. Like, why <laughs> well, how do you know? We get a lot of programmers around here, <laughs> like like that sort of thing, right? Why can't I put it in a shoe? Why can't I put it in like a? I mean, uh, if you want to carry it in your shoe the whole day, then any given <laughs> shoe, just something that will will put will uh, reduce the smell that you put in the corner. Why can't you put it in like a box with like a grid over top of it to just have the exposure be the least possible? What would still count? Like you gotta ask questions too. Does this and this count as an open room? And then with all the information you get, that's how the game works. Then you give a price point. I'll be willing to do this much. I don't believe Rudy rather works that way. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> I, but okay, apparently, that's not the game we're playing it's anyway. A different game, but that's... we were Sergey, so we were misled. <laughs> I mean, if you have a uh, strict would you rather, I'm cool with that. But I like these even more because you you kind of negotiate. You have them <laughs> hypothetically. I, I like it. Okay, um, let's okay same same principle with uh, uh, how much. By this time, it's catch it. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> No turns in your room. Um, by the way, hundred thousand, I totally do. Like crowdfund, whatever. Let's do it. I, I will. I will make it happen. Make it happen. I will. I honestly, I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't think it's that bad. Uh, for this much money, I, I totally don't. Uh, like, that that money would be worth it to me. You said you would do it, not try it. Yeah. I, I mean, will if, personally, if you, come if you, every if you, day. If you ever <laughs> fail, like you say, I can't do it anymore. You got to give the money back with interest oh. and adjusted for inflation. Yes. Well, no, just the money that, that you got, I guess. Uh, just for inflation, at the very least. Yes. I don't know. Me, yeah, maybe. You know what? Cool. If I think I still think I can do it. Doesn't matter. But because otherwise, you could yeah. literally just take the money and borrow back and your own replacement yeah, profit a, as a loan. Yes. Um. Yeah. No. Um. I do. A small I, loan of a million dollar. Wait, no. It's, it's totally <laughs> you could sleep in a tent in your room. You could pitch your tent in your room. Hang up some air fresheners in your tent. Sleep in there. And somewhere out, we went camping in summer last year, 2019. We went camping outside. There was probably dog shit in the vis- or some kind of shit in the in the rough vicinity of our tent. Yes, unlikely. I mean, how rough? <laughs> like there was cats running around. Like in a, let's say like a radius of less than 20 meters. 
Maybe. Most maybe. certainly. I mean, don't birds, think... dogs, cats, bugs, every, all sorts of animals. Horses. Horses. There were horses there. Trust me, you don't miss horse shit. Yeah, you don't miss it, exactly. But it might have been... We would, we would have seen it. <laughs> there was stuff there. You could pitch a tent in here, put an air freshener in the tent. Spray some. Also, the, 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 the tent experience is something that I would not want to do on a daily basis, just as a side note. Yeah. <sighs> There's ways to work with it. Gas mask. If it's that bad, wear a gas mask. Are you my mommy? To sleep. <laughs> no. Nice. Something. It's I, I really appreciate having Sergey on the podcast, just so I can make <laughs> references that Alex doesn't understand. It's doable. Man. Also, I don't believe that gas masks, masks filter uh, the... I mean, they, the, I they, they filter the air. They would have yes, to... The air bind that, a, yeah, yeah, but... You could just get odor, a bit of, Odorous cause the particles. You could just you get a bit of perfume filtered, or cologne yeah. and rub it under your nose before you go to sleep. That's all. That's how you eat disgusting food, by the way. Yes. Like... Because your nose does a lot of it. You could just do that. You could just use, like... You can just... Some oil or something. Like, you just fried your chicken. Just, that's it. You smell good stuff. I, want fruit honestly, I wouldn't want to uh, want to do that in the first place. The whole chicken oil thing. Okay, that, that fruit seems... punch, whatever. So that smells nice. Neutralizes it. Let's move on to the next one. I don't even care. <laughs> you can only wear one shoe at a time, ever. That's the proposition. Now you can negotiate, ask questions, oh, and give me the price. Oh, we're putting money, right? right? Okay. You can ask questions, negotiate, and you'll give me a price point. Only it once you doesn't seem like a huge deal. What's the starting? <laughs> What's the starting? Video? No, no, there isn't a starting one. You just have to give me the one that you would do. <laughs> the it for. thing is, I feel like that seems doable. And, in then, general, and then we can haggle down because this. Oh, I can give you a starting one if you want to. Five thousand bucks. Because the solution to only one shoe at a time is just no shoes. That's the solution. Yeah. No shoes is more comfortable than a single shoe. Uh, the only ever thing... All outside on the road I mean, yeah. ever. Yes, obviously, it's not that bad. Really People do that. At work, yes. driving, like illegally driving. Ooh, in Germany, it is actually illegal to drive Ooh. without solid footwear. That's true. Like in the summer heat, in the snow. Would would a single shoe classify as solid footwear if you have an automatic car? <laughs> I don't know. Because you don't you don't need your right foot, right? You need your left foot. <clears throat> See, the thing is, I can intuitively drive a car. I literally can't remember the pedals. What? You don't remember where the paddles are? Uh, if, if I, like, sat down and, like, basically yes. mimed driving a car, yes. Really? But, like, I, I couldn't consciously well, tell you. you. In an automatic uh, transmission, you don't need your left foot. That is true. Yes. Because that's used for the clutch. Yeah, no. I, I literally, again, yeah. like, I drive a car. I own, I, I technically don't own a car. Yeah. But you have a car I you kind of sort of own a car. <laughs> Fair like, enough. I, I can drive said car. That's weird. It's not an automatic car, yeah. even. It's, it's, it's manual transmission, yeah. but you don't consciously think about where which paddle is. That's weird. You just that's, do that's it. That's common knowledge somehow. I don't, I don't know, man. That's just weird. But, okay. Um, yeah. Wait, explain no. <clears throat> to me how you ride a bicycle. You sit on it and then you pedal the pedal. The problem is that's very simple. But, you know, the, the point is, right, those are things you don't think about when you do them. Well, but you well, learn like it at one things. point. I don't know, man. That seems so basic. I don't know. Um, like, if you mistake it, uh, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. But how would you mistake it if that's you not the point, it's not the point, it's not the point. It's, 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 that's like it's weird that being able to type his password without knowing it. It's, it's weird. Yes. It's like, weird. It's weird. Literally, I don't know the password. <laughs> Muscle memory, right? For, for, my, <laughs> yeah. for my bank account. Yeah. Like, Fair enough. Until I'm at... And that's uh, a four-digit code. Yes. <laughs> I literally can't remember. Yeah, fair enough. It's weird that you don't that, that that's a thing for you, but negotiations. I don't use my bank card enough. Five thousand bucks. Never wear more than one shoe at a time ever again in your life. I feel like I can get more out of you, but uh, yeah. sure. <laughs> You'll take that. <laughs> Probably. In, like summer heat, you can't go outside when it's 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 hot in the summer. Oh, you get used to it. You, you, you get used to that. In the snow. I mean, you can. In the snow is more unpleasant like, in the summer. But terrain. It's... Illegal driving. Illegal, illegal driving is honestly the biggest <clears throat> hurdle here. Like, you can't just go certain places because they require... You know, no, no shoes, no service. I feel like How do you get a job? This is a very American How are you going to go into any job interview wearing one shoe only? Be like, oh yeah, I'm cool. They, they take you. You just wear very fancy socks. It's a hindrance. Yes. It's a big hindrance, man. 
I don't, uh, I'm not sure how not much you really. realize that that's how much of a hindrance that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, the other question, which honestly might be worse for the job interview part, but is the is the whole, like, the weird shoes that have the individual toes and are basically just yeah. very stiff socks. Yeah. Are they considered shoes or those socks? Are, those are, those are, uh, that's a good question. That's the questions the types of questions I want to hear. For the purpose of this one, let's consider them shoes because I want to make it. Yeah, no, no I, I, I would personally... They're, like, usually well. mostly used for weightlifting. Or you often use No, a lot, a lot of people use them for running as well and mm, stuff like that. I haven't seen that. Uh, some people just yeah, wear them for, for, under for as a regular sports, thing. Yeah. And, let's consider them, and also climbing. Let's but consider I personally shoes. climb barefoot usually, so that's... When I do climb, which right. is very rarely, but... Yeah. I should climb more often. You want to climb? I, I vaguely enjoy the act of climbing, yes. I, I can't concur with that, but... Wow, you guys are very easy on the no shoes. You know what? Honestly, I would probably rather live with a dog shirt in my room than not be able to wear two shoes at a time. I might take the I might want more money for this than I want for the dog shirt. Nah. Though I think I would do both for five hundred. I would find a way, but I think with the shoe thing, we're just not thinking through it enough. We're gonna run into situations where it's gonna be big problems, like big problems eventually. And he's like, shit. Also, the the ability to have a single uh, shoe is helpful for medical reasons. You're gonna do it for five. Ho- if you like break your foot, they'll put it in the, put it in, like a huge room there or something. Like but, they put it, you put it, put it in the cast. Yeah. Well, yeah, but they might also they like, tend to like sometimes certain medical situations require you to wear a certain type of shoes. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I, the the thing is right. The someone coming up to me right now and offering me five thousand to do it is far less far fetched than someone coming up offering me like half a million to do the other thing. Not that either one would realistically happen, but... Um, I would do it for 5,000. But that's why I'm kind of tempted to say no, because I, I'm, if someone actually came up to me, I feel like I might not say yes. But um, in general, it seems very manageable, for sure. Mm-hmm. The doctor is more manageable. It's much easier, much simpler, more manageable than, than only once you have time. I don't get you. It's so much simpler. You just put it somewhere and ignore it. And if, it, if the smell's bad, you just... You smell something different. You just put something different to smell. It's so simple, so easy. It's almost not a hassle at all. Sergey? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I need your help with that exploit. Is there a religion that involves not wearing shoes? <sighs> Probably. Because then you could always argue religious uh, uh, discrimination if someone, like, doesn't serve you, doesn't <laughs> hire you because of... I mean, not that you could prove the latter, yeah. but... Uh, I mean, uh, you could probably create one. The driving thing. In, in America, all you need is, like, a thousand followers. But, um... In Wait, Europe, it's hard. That, 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 was, that, that was me throwing a number. It's, I, I think it's what, more. Wasn't it 30? Is it just that? I don't know. I don't, it's, it's relatively easy yes. to found a religion. And once it's officially recognized as a religion, then <laughs> you can wear like a like a noodle thing for... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. If, because if it was religiously motivated, you could circumvent a lot of the problems um, right. that he was saying... Be- Based on just like oh religious freedom oh, discrimination you know that, that, that whole thing, um, because that's what you could argue then. But yeah. th- that would of course just be an excuse. Um, but in general, I feel like as a lifestyle choice, that is definitely uh, somewhat defendable. My biggest issue would in, f- in fact be the practical hurdles, not of literally being able to wear shoes in and of itself for walking purposes, but just the indirect stuff like perception and. Um, legality yeah. of certain situations difficult at which point then you would have to basically just calculate opportunity cost and then add that to the sum I, I, I totally disagree I, I do the doctor before I do the, the, the no shoes but well yeah but you're weird no no I think it's so much more easily manageable um, do you okay, have if, any... if anyone is watching this yeah. and I know that we've come to a point where sometimes two or three yeah. people actually watch two of these segments where we ask questions comment section yeah which one is worse? Just hang up. A, no, like a uh, better vote. Poll. Yeah, yeah, you could do a poll. Oh, yes. Another thing that I'll yeah. forget to do. Thanks. Yeah. Hang up an. Yeah. Hang up. I'll try to remember. <laughs> hang up an last air freshener said, over last time your we bed. Said, last time we said we were going to do a poll, we did it. Okay. So what's worse? Hang up an <laughs> air freshener over your bed every once in a while while you sleep for five hundred thousand bucks, or not even that if it doesn't bother you, just live your life. Or never be able to wear two shoes at a time ever for 5000 bucks. Which of those two deals would you rather take? Let me hear um, in the comments. There oh, the is... Poll. You obviously um, posited the question such a way that it... 
tries if the, if to the, favor your Okay, husband. if the peace of mind thing actually bothers you that much, then fair enough. I can't help you. But uh, if, if, if really just knowing that there's a dog turd under that under that cupboard over there, like way underneath at the wall, like in the corner, that they're knowing there is one there gets you, gets your conscience out of 500,000 bucks, then God bless your soul. But that's not, I mean, other than that, what's worse? What's actually worse? So that, that's what I want to hear. Do you guys have any more of these or if not, we can, if you're not, what, 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 what is worse seeing the spider or knowing that it's there? I guess knowing that it's there, because then, as long as you see it, it won't like bite you. I guess like you can avoid it, and if you, and if if you can't see it, then it might bite you without you expecting. That it. was a rhetorical question that I heard somewhere, but the point is that's kind of the whole thing. Like knowing that something is there is, it's like it's something like the the doctor is something like on some level. You want to clean it up, right? But also. Per the conditions of said thing, yeah. you just can't. I think I it, for me, I don't. I I think I just plan it out. Could just ignore it. It's under there and not cool. Like t- t- every every two weeks, someone with their dog comes by. We renew it. Cool. That's also like by the way. That, that's <laughs> also another hassle that we didn't even go into too much, right? That's not even a problem. It barely takes time out of my every day, and I'm rich now, so I'll take that deal. Every, if anyone wants to offer me a deal, any is if there's anyone out there. Who somehow is sadistic enough, but rich enough to want to see someone do it? I will legitimately do it. I have to ask my parents if I can. But if not, <laughs> if if I'm not allowed to do it at at home, I'll I'll rent a place and do it there. I will for upfront payment. I will. I love always like. Well, I have to ask my parents if I can. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I mean, yeah, but like, if I have a place, I will do it. Okay. So anyone got any one of those? Uh, <laughs> Sergey, ask one. Give I me a, give one. me a trade off. Just come up with one. Uh, this is now... Come, come, up, come up with something that you think yeah. he would do, Improv but no class. same person would. Improv class. Just come up with uh, something. <laughs> Be creative. <laughs> you got to learn that stuff. Ten seconds. Let's go. Dun, dun, if you have one, JJ, you feel free to ask. Oh, uh, don't, don't involve me in this. <laughs> I mean, it's funny when, it, when he has to come up with shit. It's not <laughs> funny if I do. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's hear it. Don't overthink it. Throw a weird situation out. Can never wear more than one shoe at a time. You have to grow all your own food for this. Just people some, do that too. Some yes. yeah, some inconvenient. I would condition. do that. Even sounds very healthy actually. Yes. Um, Just throw. Some although you would have to probably get rid of meat in your diet, or you have to go through some extra hoops. Although I believe rabbits are somewhat easy to um, handle. Just throw some out there. Something. You can never drink from a bottle or cup again. Bottle or cup? Or did, would, would Bottle, you, cup, mug, anything. Like, what, you would just... That seems like either it's a definition <laughs> yeah. issue, or you're try, trying to get me to drink straight out of a faucet. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, drink from a tap. You can put your hand, cup your hands, that sort of stuff. If you want to put it, like, in an, in, an, uh, in a weird object, you could drink it, you could take your shoe off, fill water in there, drink it from that, that's fine. Just no conven- nor, uh, no conventional... Jar... No, it doesn't count. No conventional uh, containment. The problem is, uh, jar for some reason is almost stereotypical for moonshine. I don't know why, but... Yeah. It seems like whenever there's like hard liquor, especially if it's illegal, mm-hmm. they're always drinking out of, out of glass jars. Yeah. I don't know why. No conventional uh, consumption fluid containment units. How much would you pay to have to do that for the rest of your life? Just come up with... That's what is the question. That was just an example. Just say a thing that is inconvenient and then we do the thing. You can only wear purple clothes. <laughs> Go. Only purple clothes ever. Oh boy. Um. Does it like? Is it like how? How is the variety of purple? Like every shade of purple, or how far? Sure. It, how far does it stretch? Like it's like navy doesn't count anymore, right? No, yeah, that's just blue. Okay. So, but it can be like whatever's on the spectrum and as purple. Ma- Magenta is hard borderline, but like okay, because it's almost more pink than yeah. purple. But like that sort of like. <laughs> Colors that most people would recognize as purple in some way, shape, or form. All right. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Does it have to be solid color, or can there be like some kind of pattern? Patterns are okay. Uh, generally, for patterns, it can only be shades of purple. All right. Uh, I might allow one color if there's like, uh, like one basic color is like writing on there or something for contrast. But, shoes count. Uh, shoes. I would argue are articles of clothing. Yes. Okay. I don't know what how I don't know how that how, makes how, it how, makes it, but how about jewelry? 
It, now, it doesn't make or break it, but it adjusts my, my minimum amount of money that I want for it slightly. How about jewelry? Watches, rings... Okay, I, I would argue jewelry is chains. finding their way, but you cannot find a way to cover up your clothing entirely in jewelry. Although, yeah, they, yeah. although well, they would almost be worse, so... I was just asking. <laughs> right. um, actually, purple and gold actually seems like a halfway decent combination. It might be, yeah. It is. Buttons on shirts and stuff. Zippers. I'll allow it. Uh, but even if there is these add-on things that are not directly part of it, but are, what's they are allowed to be a different color, at least half of the whole thing has to end up being purple. Uh, give me the give me the um the starting bid. I mean, in theory, we just start low, right? Let's start with ten thousand and see how where we end up, right? Ten thousand. Do I get all expenses covered to put together a purple ward? No. <laughs> then I don't. I won't take ten thousand because I'm probably gonna. Sp- Spend close to that on clothes over my life or something. Because once you get once you get infinite free clothes, I don't I don't think you start caring what it looks like. A reasonably sized wardrobe. So no, ten thousand I would do. Let's say uh, let's say a hundred, hundred thousand I might do it. Um, I have to th- I have to do some calculation. Uh, think about it a bit more. How much clothing do I need in my life? Um, but I can I can do it for a reasonable sum. A hundred, hundred fifty thousand I'd do it. Because then you're also running into the issue where it's very hard to look professional if you're dressed in all purple. Yeah. I'll find. I'll, I'll probably find I mean, like dark are shades. Purple suits. There are, yeah. Well, but if you're if you're wearing a purple suit with a purple dress shirt and maybe a purple tie, yeah, and purple shoes of all things, which we I'll have, have like, I'll have like, I'll have like a tie, purple. a tie that's like sort of purplish pinks. Like how dark can you get? Um, like sort of crimson. I, I, as I was saying, it's like it's got. That's that's like the way I kind of like rationalize it is like. Mm-hmm. If someone looks at you and can recognize it as being like oh, oh, he's some variety purple. of purple, then uh, it should be fine. I'd say I'd say if it's like crimson and stuff, I'd do. Because it. I know technically, if you want to go like, like adjust color slider to purple, adjust brightness to like one dot above yeah, black, no. and it's like yes, this is not obviously not purple; it's black. Yeah. But yeah, I think or somewhere around a hundred thousand. It would be, would be a rich my, black, my, as a matter of fact. Yes, would be mm-hmm. my uh, my call there. What do you what do you got? No, but uh, was it? It was blue, right? At for least half a million. At least half half a million. Yes. Wow, that's a lot. Rich, rich blacks lose, use blue, right? That's I have was. no idea, man. I got no clue about that stuff. Ask there, ask any local mm. woman. I don't know. But no, that, that's that's a printer thing. Oh, cool. I don't. I have no clue about color. There was actually uh, once someone I posted do not it as like a see color funny thing where um they what were like about? Stop. Well, there, there was once uh, someone posted a screenshot of like just a text editing program or something and just right. the, the printout options like um rich blacks and the drop down menu just had the options rich blacks and display blacks accurately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's not. <laughs> Not good, not good. Uh, <laughs> Southport does it does it in a fun way though. Like they always get uh, black storage. Um, regardless, uh, do you have one? Uh yes. What do you got? So you can never take your shoes off except to change them. Ah, okay. And how long can the changing period take? See, I knew it instantly <laughs> yes. the moment he said except that he was going to find an exploit, yeah. I'm not, no, like, no, I'm not, I'm just like asking, the, literally. He can set parameters how he wants to. I'm not trying to find an, a game-breaking exploit. That's like, how the game works. Maybe uh, half a minute every month or so. Okay. <laughs> now now ah, the intervals okay. which you can change. Okay. But, so I can only change it once a month and only uh, get 30 seconds to do so. Yeah. Um... Okay, um, how about, like, house shoes? Do they count? Like, the fluffy ones with the yeah, dog sure, nose and stuff? I was about to say, you can only change yeah, yeah, out yeah, of them sure. once a month. How about so. the ones that he said, like, the weightlifting ones with the single toes? They count? Sure. Those seem a lot more comfortable if you can't take them off than regular shoes. Mm-hmm. Because at least you can move your toes. Yeah, that is true. Um, Toe movement's underrated. Yep. <sighs> Never take your shoes for the rest of my life. Yes. Cool. Mm. This is uh, somewhat inconvenient, actually. To never be able to take them off. I don't know. Um, for one, I wouldn't be allowed to enter Sergey's house, <laughs> <laughs> or any any other foreigner's house. I guess a lot of <laughs> it's a regular thing. You're just a yeah. weird person. It's a very regular. It's common courtesy. It's a very regular thing in Islam, I've heard. <laughs> well, yes. 
but also in general. <laughs> so, so does it mean? So does that mean you guys wouldn't take the deal for whatever? Yeah. The worst part about it is probably showering, but yes. <laughs> oh, showering. Hmm. I mean, I guess you don't have to shower, but that really <laughs> starts providing other and, problems. And, and the once a month thing stands, right? I can only change a pair yeah. once a month. Yes. All right. Um, no, you can only change your shoe once a month. <laughs> that would be hilarious. If you'd have to change it one at a time. No, no, that's not the, that's not the parameter. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just making All right, all right. Um, this is actually... this. I would actually set this rather high, honestly, because it seems very inconvenient. I want to say like around two or three million. Um, Question. As a minimum. What is more inconvenient? Mm -hmm. Only one shoe at a time? <laughs> or can't take them off? Both suck. Both really suck. Remember, the only one at a time is only up to one at a time, as far as I understand. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's up to one at a time. Because always wearing one shoe is way worse than never wearing shoes. I feel like if, if I only get one at a time, it needs to be at least enough money... So I have I never have to work or reasonably leave my house for long um for the rest of my life. And um if I get I can never take it, it doesn't have to be, but just because it's so inconvenient I want it to be. So if I can only I can never take them off except to change them, I'd say like three million. That's about where I'd go, actually. I, I want I'd want a lot for that. Give me give me dog turds. Place dog turds all over my room. I, I take my shoes off. <laughs> But what if you step in a dog? <laughs> <laughs> is that part of the condition? <laughs> you have to, once a no, month, but the thing when you, you take your shoe off, you have to step into a dog turd with, your, with the new shoe you just put on. No, the thing is, you said, put dog turds all over my room, I'll yeah. take my shoes off. <laughs> as if specifically, like, you're entering a room full of turds, let's protect my shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, um, okay, that was a good one. We should play this game more often. This is fun. No. <laughs> should we, uh, is it the house I'm sure? I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's I think it. That was enough, but yeah, cool. Uh, second topic, boys. Oh, now we're getting real. Uh, New Year stuff, more New Year stuff. Sergey, the floor is yours. What is your goals for 2020? Personally. Oh maybe not just general related, but personally. Yeah. Um... Current objective, survive. <laughs> that's a good one too yes yeah, um, that reminds me one of my wallpapers just says uh, today's objective or something and it's like do nothing and it's just already pre-checked yeah so, <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, so I think so, survive um, is one that we can all chuck out for ourselves yeah let's um, try doing that so probably learn Japanese to be able to understand basic sentences like um and also speak with natives on a low level. You already started with that, though, a little bit, right? Yeah, yes, kind of. But, but um, you're not, not fluent in it. Or you not, not at all. Uh, if he was fluent, then the whole, <laughs> then the whole not be a goal. point would be... Uh, kind of not right. at all. Like, no, because uh, I, think, I think that's one of the harder languages. I mean, it is it one is of the harder hard. languages to yes. learn for... Very hard. Actually, I don't know. I'm, I only know the ones like hard and easy to learn for like a native German speaker, a native English speaker. I have no idea about native Russian speakers. I don't know either. No, no. But, but Jap Japanese is much, much different. It's, it, it's way further no, away from Russian than like German or anything. So. It's different. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. But I, mean, I, was just, I was just saying mm -hmm. that he is different from it's us. It's probably not, not as different from us for us. Um, but, in, but I think that's a very hard thing. And I think that a year is arguably a relatively small time frame. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just, just it is. So that's one of the, the big goals? Yes. You got any else? <laughs> Does he have time for anything else? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like, I, I mean, of course, uh, finishing my apprenticeship to be an official software developer. Nice. Um, Sounds like a good um, rank to have. And yeah, yeah, that's mostly it. I just realized how we're all kind of actually in a similar spot in our lives in yeah. that regard. Yeah. In was, a different way, but... And we're sort of a similar age, too, that's why. We well, work he, together he, on a lot of stuff. He's like two years younger than us. Yeah. Yes. Um, we were born in 1990, in 2000. Right? I was about to say he's born, I believe he's, he's born, born in 2000. Born in yeah. 2000, like 1999, 1998, yeah. I'm old. It's pretty close. But yes. So yeah, who would, have, who would have guessed I'm the, old, I'm the oldest? Yeah. <laughs> JJ, what do you got? Um, on a kind of similar note, which is what I just realized. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I was aware that he's doing his apprenticeship and I was <clears> aware that he was doing it for a while. I just didn't consciously realize I'm. I'm trying to fi finish my bachelor's degree uh, this year. Same. So, 
there is that. Um, obviously, that that's a the big exact one. Same one for me. Uh, I'm hoping, and I know I've kind of said stuff like this before, and it hasn't worked out too great, but uh, to finally work on my own YouTube projects a little more intensively. Um, there is two channels now, uh, which I'm both doing very fine with. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, which I maybe you could start a third. Maybe that's exactly what you need. Is a third channel. That was irony. Yes. I was being sarcastic. The the reason <laughs> it it was in theory reasonable to start the second channel over the other one because of separation of content, but the problem is just actual content on those channels yeah. would probably be helpful for that. Um Get out there. so the review channel is definitely an idea. Um kind of a, one of those things where it's interesting because most stuff will only start again in like two weeks or so, so like there's a natural break right now anyways. Um the D&D channel doesn't have a built-in schedule, which makes it both better and worse. You can make one. Because it makes it harder to kind of hold yourself to something, but it also makes it easier that you can't really be too late with a lot of your content. Um, I have said, I'm pretty sure I've said last year that I wanted to work on that, and that didn't go as planned, so... Uh... uh the problem is I'm already getting too pessimistic about myself, about it, which is probably not helpful. Not necessarily. Um, but that, that's something I would, would want to work on. and um, I mean, there's other stuff that would be nice, but that's that's like I, that's ugly the main goals. So the YouTube stuff. Yeah. Okay, the so YouTube I, stuff yeah. and, the, and the bachelor's degree, yeah. which which then I would, I would also, I feel, feel like, reasonably be able to be considered a computer scientist. Uh, after having my Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Science. Yeah, I'm also trying to be a Bachelor of Science, hopefully also this year, and uh, and get it done, to, to get my degree done. Um, other than that, okay, YouTube, obviously, same old, same old. I want to keep your football going and do the scoreboard with Smokey whenever there's NFL stuff to predict or NFL stuff to discuss in the offseason. I'm there sometimes. He's there sometimes, that is true. Um, I want to keep that going. And, uh, of course, of course, Trash TV, the degree. And then the one thing we've talked about, I want to write a rap. Oh, We've yeah. talked about this. That is one thing that I said for 2020. I want to write a rap song. And, uh... That doesn't... Honestly, that doesn't seem like that much work. I, I, have, I don't have any experience in the field, but it basically seems like... You've literally made that comparison before, although yeah. oftentimes rap is kind of like poetry. Mm-hmm. So, effectively, what you're saying is you're trying to write a poem. Like yeah, I'm not 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 trying to take anything away from anyone here, but more or less very similar. Yeah. So that is so what you're saying is you're trying to write a short form text. That seems like something you could do in a weekend. If I mean, quality may differ, yeah. and especially without a lot of experience, you probably will take a little longer. Yeah. But I would argue that something could very reasonably be done with by the end of January. The physical writing takes not that long, that is correct. But the creative process with it might it might take well quite a long time, especially doing it uh, not with the whole team, but like by myself. And maybe I'll get you guys to chip in. I brought it up once to get you guys to chip in a little bit. And uh, Hollywood Smokey, of course, would be some uh, some people to contact about this. I stuff. mean, yeah. they would pro- they probably write multiple rap songs every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so depends on how much help you want. Yeah. But I would argue that. The, first of all, you have to realize that inspiration is not going to strike you randomly, very Correct. likely. So, that means you're actively going into it, like, brainstorming ideas. So, you come up with, kind of, what topic you would want to rap about, or write about, in this case. If there's a specific topic, yeah. And then you just figure out stuff to say about that topic, and ultimately it, like, rhymes and maybe has, like, a mm-hmm. nice, uh... Oh, God, what do they Meter. call it? Meter, thank you. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. And you need to find a beat to, to work with it, or need or you find the text to work with a certain beat, which is also the that's I, another issue. I want to argue you could approach that either way. I know that uh, some musicians have had a lot of success writing music after already having mm-hmm. the notes. They just write the yeah. words. Mm-hmm. Um, I do know that once you have something that, again, has a, some of this meter and it has a rhyme scheme as to it. Coming up with a beat just almost kind of naturally mm-hmm. helps, especially with the consist meter. You kind of have it already. Yeah. It kind of writes the beat itself. I have I have never uh, never obviously done it, so I don't know that, but I would imagine that usually the beat is added is done after the text, too. I, I would assume so. That's um, what I would do. Especially would do. for something that, as, as you've also previously said a lot, is very lyric-focused. Yeah. I know... Um, in the movie Rocket Man about um, Elton John, not rap by any means, but music, yeah. um, it was presented like he was 
getting he was getting notes from uh, someone and then he was writing the lyrics over that. Oh, okay. I believe there was also Sean Murray, but he kind of like, I think on uh, moment also Funny. matched lyrics to notes or something. But uh, generally, like kind of like the music comes first sort of idea. Um, no wait, was it the other? It might have been. I would think it would be the other way. Wait, was it the other way? No, no, I'm Did trying to get the lyrics to... and write the the song, the notes. There was something about the. Anyways, the point is you could do either reasonably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you probably write the lyrics first. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. So... Now, now I think I might be misremembering that, which is. Yeah. Which makes the whole, which makes it bringing it up in the first place kind of dumb. Yeah. So okay, you're in for that. Let's write a rap. Do it. Find some time to do yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Um, Dude, r- talking stream of content for like an hour on end makes you say things that are wrong and dumb. What do you mean? I was talking about myself. With, don't don't worry. With what? With the Alton John. We've been talking for a while. I yeah. said I just said something that I think might be wrong, and that just oh, the Alton John thing. Yeah, that might yeah. that might have been wrong. I, I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. I don't. I seen that movie, but it's been a while. Well, like I saw it when it came out. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, writing a, a rap, the degree, anything else y'all can come up with? Like, what else do we have? I mean, to be fair, your ambitions arguably are almost, I want to argue the smallest out of all of us, because the degree and the apprenticeship are very similar. Yes. In nature, although, uh, I'm not, I actually have no idea how the exact details of the apprenticeship work, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and then him learning a language is arguably the biggest secondary oh, one. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the biggest one. Uh, especially a one like that. Then I've just had, like, keeping up with stuff that I kind of wanted to be doing for a while now, but at least that's still a relatively recurring yeah. commitment. You just want to write one text. <laughs> Not as easy. You're really making it sound simple. I think you're I... really insulting to someone who's done it before <laughs> right now, honestly. Again, the, it, it depends on the level of quality. A lot, of course. Yes. But I would argue that I could write... So- don't make this into a challenge. I know you like doing that. I was about to do it. I was I, I was like literally this was the next thing I was I gonna say. I argue that it could be very I could very reasonably do it in a month. Uh something that's passable. See, he's, Maybe not great. he says it like that, but then it expects not to be challenged. Because he I says, don't care to do he it. He says I could, I could, I could, but then would I said, never I think bring I could. Do why it. would he? Be, because why would you say I could, I could, I could, but then you never do it? It just seems weird. I don't. I don't like. I don't like that sort of thing. Just saying, I could do it. I could. I. I. I just generally don't like when people say, "I could, I could, I could," and then when I say "do," and they never do. Like that's the same thing when people say, like, "I could." Would they I do could that? stop do this and this and this. I could stop do this and this and this. The problem is because talk is goddamn cheap. Everyone can say that, and I don't like it. But that's all that people do is run their mouth, man. I. I don't like this type of phrasing. But yeah, I will try. And uh. It's not the only thing I'm going to do in all of 2020, obviously. Um, I still want to keep up. With, <laughs> with I just imagine Alex, stuff. like, going home yeah. after this, only locking himself thing. into a room, For and he shows up at the end of the year, like, hey, three or six, five, how's eight, the challenge going? How's the challenge going? <laughs> like, I, finished, I, I have been busy writing a single I've, rap song. I finished my song. I finished my rap song. Oh, uh, yeah, that's something I want to wanted to forget into. I want to, of course, so, said, continue all the channels and stuff. The interesting question, though. Uh, like, would you want to rap it, too? Or would you want to have someone else do it? Or uh, that, that depends. I guess I could try. Uh, then I would definitely do Hollywood Smokey South, though. Because I have no I have no clue how that, that sort of thing Because goes. you said writing a rap song. Mm-hmm. And if no one is going to rap it, it's, it's just you writing Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's intended to be rapped. But uh, I would have to get someone who knows a little bit, like uh, Hollywood Smokey, to try it out tell me how good it is how it's doable and uh, if I can do it that sort of stuff because I can't estimate that at all fair I was just curious how you intended to yeah. make use of that because um, as you've pointed out repeatedly we know rappers yes we do that, which, is um, cool, which is why there's a good opportunity for that so it would have been reasonable for you to say like oh I just care about the writing process yeah. I will have them then perform it or something that maybe I mean again yeah. I, I don't care how you do it I was just wanted to not, not fully sure but uh, that's that's the that's the main thing the first thing is getting the text written until then uh, you have to think about too much all about too much else I guess so that would be that it's would be the first fair I, I I can understand wanting to do something for the purpose of doing it I, I've done such often um, for a variety of things where it's just yeah. like what well, what do you do what will you do with the money and it's like maybe nothing maybe something I don't know doesn't right. matter you got anything more you got anything that I looking at my computer screen realized that I probably should finish that music database thing 
But that's just data entry. Good point. That's just data entry. Like, that's all something that's mostly just... Yeah. I have to do it. I have to find time every now and again to just progress it yeah, somewhat. That's a good point. We because should, the database put... structure is established. I, I've run SQL over the partial database that exists, including today for the fact of the week. Um, it's literally just now entering every single song in my collection in there with genre, year it was released, and the country that the artist is from. Yeah. As well as of course title artist that's and awesome. the year I added it to my collection. Let's catch up on that one in twenty or have you catch up on that one in twenty twenty? How about it? It is twenty twenty. Yes. Yeah, that's what I said. Within twenty twenty. Yeah, sure. Have catch up on that. That's that's also a good one. That's a smaller thing, but that's you know something that that's still a personal challenge. I in mean, that sense. to be fair, um, in terms of backlog, as in songs that I got before twenty nineteen, uh, which of course I've. Literally just said for the half time uh, for the fact yeah. I've added those in there all as part of the to have a good list to evaluate mm-hmm. off of as well, and I'm, every time I add a song now I put it in there, so it's just about the backlog. Um, I'm somewhere like I want to say like G or something because I go through the artists alphabetically because oh, yeah. that's how I have just how I have most of them saved on my computer. Um, so that could give you. A, like a small indication yeah. of how far I am into this. That's kind of what I've done in 2019, and I started this. Do we have a vague idea when I first started doing that? I don't like know. a couple months ago. I want to say it was during the football season, so you know. There yeah, was it, that. Might, it might have been roughly during the NFL season start or something. Because yeah. there was a while when I would, um, when like I was watching a game. September. Or something. Like whenever they would go on break, I would enter like two or three songs, yeah. and then I would continue watching. That's a, a good game, way to do it, by the way. Yeah, it's good because method. I'm not going to sit down at one point and just write it all in there. I could. Yeah. It will probably take like ten hours. Mm, yeah. Not quite long. Actually, with all the research in between, there might be. It's but a lot like, of stuff to do. It, it would just take a bunch of hours, but it could somewhat reasonably be done within one sitting, minus yeah. toilet breaks and maybe some eating. But you know, it could be done. It's, in one it's sitting. nicer to do it in like incremental. It's just like I was about to say. Like I, I'm just not going to do it because I don't care to do it yeah. in that way. As long as you do it consistently, it's. it's but I want to thing. have it done, so I just have to keep chipping at it. Exactly. So um, y'all know the drill. At the end of the year, we'll check back in on this. Um, I'm holding you responsible to learn Japanese. Now you got to say that you hold JJ responsible to do his degree and stuff. Like you always need uh, someone I, else. I to... kind of expect that. Yeah, so you're holding him responsible to do that. I'm holding him responsible to do the channel work. That too, yes. JJ, what are you holding him responsible to do? Uh, what? Nah, that's much responsibility for me. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to hold him responsible to get my degree and write my rap song. And continue with the scoreboard and the NFL talk with Smokey. Um, so, yeah. That's that's the thing. And uh, at the end of the year, we can revisit that and see how stuff goes. And then we To can... be fair, one aspect of what you just said, we really don't have any direct control over. What, the football? Well, you said with Smokey. That is true. I mean, if Smokey, I... if Smokey were to somehow vanish, then I continue to do it myself. Because I, I, was, just, as a, as a... I was just saying, like... In theory, any day he could be like, hey, you know what, I, I, I'm not feeling There's anymore. a very, yeah. If, if, if he somehow goes off the grid completely, then of course I'll do it. I, li- I like how the idea is he has to basically completely disappear. Like, if he's, <laughs> if someone can reach him, hey. you're going to make him do it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I don't know what he's going to be running from, okay? You never know. You never know. Um, no, but uh, seriously. Yeah, that's we're going to revisit that at the end of the year and uh, see how we did. And then we can talk in Japanese about football and JJ's database. Um, I don't believe that you... I was about to say, wouldn't that require the two of us to also be able to speak <laughs> yeah, Japanese? Sergey can talk in Japanese about football and Japanese data. That's very specific That's very specific vocabulary. Yes. <laughs> he was talking about general conversation, yeah. which is very different from... You can tell a Japanese person what our goals were. Some, You know what? We'll try and make something out of it, alright? I mean, to be fair, that, that should be doable. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you could probably, as long as you've got the pronunciation halfway down, do it right now because you would just have to Find translate it. Translate the exact sentences, yeah. Hope that the translation is not really <laughs> bad, grammatically speaking. Yeah. <laughs> and then just say it. Fair enough, yeah. So, uh, until, I think we've, we've got enough for this podcast. Until next time, drop a like on it. That's been the first uh, 2020 podcast with a new format. Fact of the week before halftime show. Let us know if you liked it. I think it makes more sense because the halftime show is now at the half. Um, I think it's just better and we'll keep that format up. Um, we had some good facts, we had some good topics, and some plans and uh, outlooks for uh, 2020. Most of the stuff obviously pertains to Trash Game TV and the Hearthstone tournaments and stuff, and the content that's coming out. So that's priority, definitely, and uh, 
look forward to that. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good year, I think, with Sergey and with JJ. So uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Y'all got anything to add? Do you have any songs of the week? Except for your songs, songs. yeah. I was, okay, then let's get. <laughs> <laughs> See, like whenever he starts doing the outro before we do the songs. I will just wait for him to be done and just be like, JJ, and I'm like, sound weak. I was like, do only... you have anything else to add, like, to what we said? The thing is, why do you start the outro before the songs and just do it after again, usually? Uh, like, I, don't to, I, don't do do, I don't have to do it again after, but do you have anything to add? Then let's do the song. <laughs> so, okay. What is the song of this week? So, um... Staying on topic with Japanese. Uh... <laughs> Um, Bad Apple. Uh, uh, that doesn't sound very Japanese. Um, from the <laughs> Tohu Project. Uh, that does sound more Japanese. Uh, why you do that? <laughs> why wouldn't I? I don't even know, man. JJ, what's your song? I, 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 I don't see what his problem is. Uh, um, my song of the week actually <laughs> is a little bit inspired of you... Of your ridicule from last week. Um, <laughs> and it is, believe it or not, by Tina Turner. Oh, boy. It is a song that I added to my collection in... 2019, oh, there is yeah. no 2020 songs quite yet, um, and it's Private Dancer, which actually isn't originally by her, but she covered it, so... This might be the... I believe it's originally by uh, Mark Knopfler, actually. Really? From uh, he's whatever a, he's but from. But he's a capable musician. So you're telling me someone bastardized that, like, something that he did originally? Crazy. Um, this might be, quality-wise, the worst Sonic League segment we've ever had. If it weren't for uh, the saving grace of John Denver and Rocky Mountain High, my song of the week. There we go. Henry also, John Deutschendorf Jr. Jr. Very old school. <laughs> that was once a fact of the week. Yes, the, I believe it was my fact. That was his real name. Um, yes, so that is uh, that is my song of the week. At least one of them was decent. I haven't, to be, to be fair, I have listened to both of the other ones, but I know that at least one of them is decent. That statement isn't wrong. Just, you know, yeah. You know, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, I'm not saying they're both bad, but. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, drop a like on the podcast and look more f- forward to a lot more coming up. Uh, and until next time, now we're actually done. JJ first. That's it. Sergey. That's it. That's it.